So your research has started, and you're making your way into some pretty difficult topics and difficult information. And you don't want to have to read everything that you find because that's going to actually take a long time. So there's a couple skills that you can use when researching to make yourself feel a little more efficient and get to the places you want to be. There's two terms, and they're actually skills. You might have picked them up in a reading class. One is called skimming, and one is called scanning. Skimming is when you read quickly to get the main idea of the text. You may not get all the information out of that text, but you, at least you have the gist of what they were trying to talk about. And then that will allow you to decide if you want to read on further in that same area, or if it just wasn't what you were looking for. And then next is scanning. Scanning is when you rapidly view the text in search of key terms, phrases, or information. So in actuality, scanning would come first. So we're going to move this entire thing before skimming. Because you'd scan your information before you actually went into skimming. Now remember, scanning is when you look at something, you look for key terms, like a word that you're looking for, something specific, or a phrase or information. And then if you skim, you read quickly to get the main idea. <clears throat> to model this, I have, I'm a pretty avid sports fan. My favorite team is the Pittsburgh Penguins. And so I like to watch the Penguins because they're a good team. But they, uh, one of the players on the team is very fun to watch, and that's Sidney Crosby. But he's been injured lately, and I kind of want to see the update on that. So I'm going to go to NHL.com. And I'm going to scan this page to see if there's anything that says Crosby. Now, I'm looking, and this is a normal spot that I could find something. So top headlines, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. I'm looking for a keyword Crosby. Oh, I found it. I click on that. And if I want to see how he's doing now, I can skim this to see how he's doing. And I would read quickly. I'm just skimming for the main idea. Okay, so he practiced Monday. And sometimes when they skim, you read out loud to yourself or you kind of mumble it to yourself. But at least your your eyes are going on. Um, so stepped on the ice first two months. Um, hasn't been there in a while. Um, the next 10 days, he's going to be in the lineup. So I just found out all that information that I needed in this entire article. My whole main goal was, when is he coming back? And I heard in the next 10 days, he could come back. Okay, so that was skimming versus scanning. So now I have an image for you. And this image, I'm going to put it, actually insert this image right onto this page. So I'm going to insert the image. And I'm going to go grab that image. Now this is a skill that you can use. And this picture is called, i got to go to my pictures. It's called Sharks. Okay, so it's uploading. And in a second, I'll have the picture in here. Okay, so this right here is the image. I took a picture of a book, a page in a book. And what I'd like you to do is read this. But I, I have questions for you. And I, remember, the idea is to scan and to skim. I'm not asking you to read the entire thing in, it, in its entirety. There's three paragraphs, and I have three questions for you to answer. answer. So what I want you to do is make a copy of this so you can have it up for yourself, and then answer these questions, and we'll discuss them in class.